Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the vignette node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve OFX available within Fusion. And we're going to go ahead and jump into Fusion. And yes, I know it's a vignette node. How much can it do other than vignetting? And you're right, that's what it does. But it does a little more. And there's uh, some things I want to break down on this node because there are some glitches. So let's go ahead and add a vignette node. So Shift Space VIG vignette and there we go we've got a vignette so before we jump in just as a reminder uh let's get our subscribers up let's uh, build our community so if you've been liking and enjoying these videos go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button anyway the vignette so we have two operating modes which is basic and advanced under basic mode we can pretty much change the size of our vignette we can change the anamorphism, so stretch it out or round it off. Additionally, we can change the softness. And we can change the color. We can either pick a color or pick a color here. Or we can change it independently on the red, the green, and the blue. So that's basic and that's pretty much all you get. And notice we can't change our center position or anything. So let's refresh and let's go to advanced mode. Under advanced mode, the first thing you'll notice is we get this little gizmo in here so we can change the center location. So we can actually move this vignette around and use it for a little more than just vignetting. So technically we can track this gizmo and uh, have it attached to a track. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, an issue it's got. So let's add a tracker node. So tracker, we're going to add a tracker and uh, let's go ahead and connect it. And uh, as always, to get our center, let's go ahead and grab her nostril here and let's track forward. So we've got a nice track going and uh, just to demonstrate our track is nice and smooth. We're going to minimize this and uh, I'm going to go to our center here, connect to tracker position. And this is what our tracker position is supposed to do, center it on our track. So as I play, you can see that ellipse is centered on her nostril or the track. Now, if I was to go to the vignette node, and if I go to my center, right click, connect to tracker position, you can see our tracker is off. It's actually not there. And this is gonna be an issue no matter what you do, even if you try to connect it to offset positions, because if I play this, you're gonna see this is going to slide around and kind of fade away and come back into our track for some reason. So as I play, you can see that's moving around and fading in and out and not staying perfectly where it's supposed to be staying on our track. You can see it's actually moving more than our track is moving. So that's going to be an issue if you want to track and uh, assign that center of your vignette. But for most vignettes, it'll get it close enough. So let's go ahead and look at our vignette. Let's fit our footage back in. So now you can see we've got our uh, little center of our vignette tracked around her face, but it is sliding. So that was the one issue I wanted to show you. So under our border shape, we have multiple shapes. We can have oval, we can have a triangle, and uh, let's go ahead and reduce the softness so you can see the shape. We have diamond rectangle, hexagon, or octagon. And depending on what shape we select, we uh, have multiple things to change. So for all of them, we can change our size. So let's go to diamond. You see, we can change our size. We can also change that rotation. But for some of them, we lose the ability to rotate it. And we can also animate this rotation. So we can go to the beginning 
and uh, let's slam it down this way. Add a keyframe. Let's go to the end. Slam it the other way. Now we've got our little diamond animated. And we can still change the size, change the softness up. And we can even change our anamorphism if we want. So under softness, this is where we change the softness of our uh, vignette shape. Right here, we can change the transparency and we can change the color. So if we want a different color, we can change our color. So let's get an amazing purple going. So now we've got a crazy purple going and uh, let's change our softness and our size up a little bit. And then down here, our composite type, we can uh, change whatever composite type we want. And it's got all the standard composite types. So we can change it to whatever we want. And by default, it's set to multiply. So that is the vignette node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.